Think of Lonergan, you know, who's a great student of Aquinas. Be attentive, be intelligent, be reasonable, and then be responsible. The four steps in any uh, responsible engagement of the world. Pope led us in Mass this morning, and it was, you know, extraordinary out there on the piazza. His sermon, you know, he really stays on message, emphasizing how the, the Synod is not a parliament, it's not a, a democratic debating society. And the, the language he always uses is the protagonist, the chief actor of the Synod, is not any of us, it's not him, it's the Holy Spirit. And the idea is to listen in each other's voices, but for the voice of, of the Holy Spirit. Synod on Synodality. You, this isn't your first synod. How many have you been at? Not my first rodeo. I did the um, Synod on Young People, which was five years ago, 2018. Uh, so it's my second synod. How does this compare? Peter and Paul came to this town a long time ago. And they weren't here, you know, just to listen to Roman culture. I mean, fine. They were here with a message. Euangelion is good news. And it's good news that will change the world. And in fact, it, it worked. The fact that over there, where Peter lies buried to this day, but dominating this once imperial capital is the cross of Jesus. You know, that didn't come welling up from Roman culture. That came from a message that these people brought. We should do our work with the same energy and the same and ash in the same conflict. I stand in the great Vatican II tradition as interpreted by the great post-conciliar popes from Paul VI to Francis. Um, the Catechism of 92, I mean, that's where I stand, and I come out of that perspective. When, when you're appealing to some objective truth, you're finding something that will link you to another person. So it's not like just my private set of convictions are against yours, so I'm gonna attack you because you don't like me. Can we prescind from that and say, no, you know, together, through argumentation, we're seeking the truth. And if we find it, it'll link us together. Together, we're looking to a transcendent third. In this case, the truth, the good, the beautiful. And, and in that measure, we get closer to each other. You know, it's not just Christ next to the culture, not just Christ absorbed by the culture, it's Christ who positions the culture. As Vatican II says, you know, we read the signs of the times in light of the gospel. It's in light of Christ that we interpret the world. And the church, look, I look out at the city of Rome here, you know, and we've been around for a long time and we've been through a lot worse than we're going through right now. So we will endure. So Christ gives me hope and the Holy Spirit gives me hope. The fact that we've been given this great message, we've been entrusted with it, 
but we're under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. 